Hey there, math explorers. Have you ever shared a pizza with your friends? Imagine you have a whole pizza cut into 10 equal slices. Each slice represents one tenth of the pizza. This tenth is a decimal. Decimals help us talk about parts of a whole, just like slices of pizza. They're like fractions, but written differently. Decimals are super useful for measuring things that are not whole numbers. For example, we use decimals to measure height, weight, and even the speed of a cheetah. So, get ready to dive into the world of decimals and discover their amazing powers. Now, let's meet the superhero of decimals, the decimal point. This little dot might seem small, but it plays a big role. The decimal point separates the whole number part from the decimal part. It's like a wall that divides the whole pizza from the slices. For example, in the number 3.14, the three is the whole number part, and 14 is the decimal part. The decimal point tells us that we're dealing with a number that has both whole and fractional parts. Remember, the decimal point is our guide to understanding the value of each digit in a decimal number. Just like superheroes have their special powers, each digit in a decimal number has its own unique place value. These place values are like the superpowers of numbers, helping us understand their true worth and significance. The place value chart is our trusty sidekick in this numerical adventure. It helps us decode the value of each digit in a decimal number, making it easier to grasp how these numbers work. By using the place value chart, we can see the hidden powers of each digit. Let's zoom in on the first three places after the decimal point, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. These are the key players in our decimal story, each with its own special role. Tenths, the first place after the decimal point represents tenths. Imagine dividing a whole pie into ten equal slices. Each slice is one-tenth of the pie. This is how we understand the value of the tenths place. Hundredths, the second place after the decimal point represents hundredths. Now, think about dividing that same pie into 100 tiny pieces. Each piece is one hundredth of the pie. This helps us see how small the hundredths place value is. Thousandths. The third place after the decimal point represents thousandths. Imagine slicing the pie into one thousand even tinier pieces. Each piece is one thousandth of the whole pie. This shows us just how minuscule the thousandths place value is. The place value chart is an invaluable tool for comparing decimals. By lining up the digits according to their place values, we can easily see which numbers are larger or smaller. This helps us make sense of the relationships between different decimal numbers. Remember, the further a digit is to the right of the decimal point, the smaller its value becomes. This is because each step to the right represents a division by 10. So a digit in the tenths place is 10 times larger than a digit in the hundredths place and a hundred times larger than a digit in the thousandths place. Understanding this concept is crucial for mastering decimals. Reading and writing decimals is as easy as pie. Here's the secret code. Read the whole number part normally. Say point for the decimal point. Read the digits after the decimal point individually. For example, 2.53 is read as 2.53. It's like reading a secret message, digit by digit. When writing decimals, make sure to place the decimal point correctly to separate the whole number part from the decimal part. Section 5. Types of decimals. Terminating versus non-terminating. Decimals come in different flavors. Just like how you can have different types of ice cream, decimals also come in various forms. Some are simple and straightforward, while others are a bit more complex. We have two main types, terminating and non-terminating decimals. Think of them as two distinct groups, like apples and oranges. Each has its own unique characteristics. Terminating decimals. These decimals have a finite number of digits after the decimal point. They come to a clear and definite end. They end just like a good story. Imagine reading a book that has a satisfying conclusion. That's what a terminating decimal is like. For example, 0.25 and 3.14 are terminating decimals. These numbers stop after a certain number of digits. Non-terminating decimals. 
These decimals go on forever and ever. They never come to an end, much like an endless adventure. They have an infinite number of digits after the decimal point. No matter how far you go, there's always another digit waiting. For example, one third is represented as 0 0.3333, with the threes repeating forever. This is a classic example of a non-terminating decimal. Don't worry too much about non-terminating decimals for now. They might seem a bit overwhelming, but with practice, you'll get the hang of them. Just remember that they exist and can be represented using ellipses to show that the digits continue infinitely. This is a handy way to indicate that a decimal doesn't stop. So, next time you see a decimal, try to figure out if it's terminating or non-terminating. It's like solving a little puzzle. Understanding the difference between these two types of decimals will help you in many areas of math. It's a fundamental concept that will make other topics easier to grasp. Keep practicing and soon you'll be a decimal expert. Remember, math is all about practice and patience. Great job learning about terminating and non-terminating decimals. Keep up the good work and you'll master these concepts in no time. Section 6. Decimals in Action Real World Wonders. Decimals are everywhere. They are an integral part of our daily lives, often going unnoticed but playing a crucial role in various activities. We use them all the time without even realizing it. From the moment we wake up to the time we go to bed, decimals are at work, making our lives easier and more organized. Here are a few examples. Let's explore some common scenarios where decimals come into play and see how they help us in our everyday tasks. Money. When you buy something at the store, the price is often expressed in decimals, like $1.99. This helps us understand the exact amount we need to pay and ensures we get the correct change. Measurement. We use decimals to measure height, like 5.2 feet, weight, like 1.5 kilograms, and even the length of a ladybug, like 0.4 inches. These precise measurements are essential for accuracy in science, cooking, and even in our health. Sports. In races, athletes' times are measured in decimals, like 9.8 seconds for a 100-meter sprint. This precision is crucial for determining winners and setting records. Decimals help us make precise measurements and calculations in various aspects of our lives. Whether it's in the classroom, the kitchen, or a construction site, decimals ensure that everything is accurate and reliable. They're like the secret ingredient that makes our world more accurate and efficient. Without decimals, many of the things we take for granted would be much harder to achieve. So next time you see a decimal point, remember the important role it plays in making our world a better place. Section seven, decimal operations, adding and subtracting. Just like whole numbers, we can add and subtract decimals. It's like combining or taking away slices of pizza. When adding or subtracting decimals, make sure to line up the decimal points vertically. For example, if you have $1.25 and earn $2.75 more, you can add them together. 1.25 plus 2.75 equals 4.00. Adding and subtracting decimals is as simple as that. Remember to keep the decimal points aligned and you'll be a decimal operation master in no time. Section 8. Fun Fact Time, The Decimal Point's Origin Story Did you know that the decimal point has been around for centuries? The invention of the decimal point is credited to John Napier, a Scottish mathematician in the 16th century. Before that, people used different symbols or methods to represent fractions. Napier's invention revolutionized mathematics and made it easier to work with fractions and decimals. Thanks to him, we can now enjoy the convenience and accuracy of using decimals in our daily lives. Section 9, Decimal Wrap-Up. Key takeaways and continued exploration. Congratulations, decimal adventurers. You've learned that decimals are parts of a whole, separated by the mighty decimal point. You've explored the place value chart, decoded the secrets of reading and writing decimals, and even discovered the different types of decimals. Remember, decimals are our friends in the world of numbers. They help us measure, calculate, and understand the world around us with greater precision. 
So keep practicing, keep exploring, and keep those decimal digits dancing.